Complexometric titration was carried out to determine the water hardness or concentration of calcium of an unknown water sample. Water hardness is a major concern in industrial and domestic water as high water hardness can result in scaling and degeneration especially of industrial equipment. Thus, the water hardness is determined by titrating the water sample with EDTA as the titrant and a real chrome black tea as the indicator which changes from red to blue in the presence of excess EDTA. In this experiment, we will need burette, pipette, volumetric flask, Erlenmeyer flask, measuring cylinder, disodium EDTA, calcium carbonate stored in a desiccator, sodium hydroxide, 20% dilute hydrochloric acid, magnesium chloride, am ammonia ammonium chloride buffer solution at pH 10, 5% aerochrome black tea indicator, the ionized distilled water, and a water sample which can be tap water, mineral water, or ground water. First, we need to prepare 250 ml of standard calcium solution. 0.25 gram dry calcium carbonate was weighed accurately. The solid was dissolved completely until clear solution formed in a minimum amount of dilute 20% hydrochloric acid. It was then transferred quantitatively into a 250 ml volumetric flask and diluted to the mark. Next, to prepare 250 ml of disodium EDTA solution, 1 gram of disodium EDTA was dissolved in 30 ml of distilled water, then 0.025 gram of magnesium chloride, and 0.025 and a few pallets of sodium hydroxide were added. The solution was transferred to a 250 ml volumetric flask and diluted to the mark. The standard calcium and EDTA solution prepared were to be used in the standardization of EDTA solution. This is important to determine the actual concentration of EDTA used, as EDTA is a secondary standard and decays rather quickly when exposed to light. 25 ml of standard calcium solution was pipetted into a 250 ml conical flask and 1 ml of buffer solution and 4 drops of a real chrome black tea indicator were added. The calcium solution was titrated with EDTA solution. The conical flask was swirled constantly throughout the titration to ensure uniform reaction and sharp endpoints. At the end point of the titration, the color changed from red to blue and the volume of titrant used was noted down. The titration was repeated twice the volume and the average molarity of the EDTA solution were calculated. Having obtained the actual concentration of EDTA solution from the preceding standardization, we can now perform titration of the water sample which contain calcium with EDTA solution. 50 ml of water sample was obtained and 20 ml of sample was pipetted into a conical flask. It was titrated with EDTA solution as the titrant. Titration was performed in the same manner the standardization of EDTA was done, that is, determining the volume of EDTA solution needed to reach the end point of the titration when the color changed from red to blue.
the titration was repeated up to three times and the molarity and parts per million of calcium in the sample were then calculated.